Well, mold is putting a damper on the start of the school year for some students and staff in Montgomery County. Upper Perkiomen High School is closed for mold cleanup. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden joins us now from the school to show you where and how the mold was found. Joe? Yuki, and that mold has derailed the week of classes here in Upper Perkiomen. There's a team of uh, remediation specialists inside. The only bit of normalcy out here on this campus. Well, the football team continues to practice. Upper Perkiomen High School students get an unscheduled break after district officials revealed in a letter mold had been found in areas of the school. A lot of people were getting like a stuffy nose or like a headache. We were thinking that it's probably from the molds because everyone's inhaling it because it can spread everywhere. Only days back to class and students say they complained about a spike in respiratory illness. The district outlined some surface mold was found in parts of the building over the summer. Superintendent Dr. Alexis McGloin said incredibly hot, humid and rainy conditions were to blame. There was just a lot of humidity in the air at that point and moisture. And so we brought in a, an agency to help us and we cleaned the whole entire thing out and really thought we were ahead of it. We scrubbed the air, we put new filters in, we found nothing in our HVAC system. But more mold was found growing in the school's gymnasium. The area was sealed off. This time around, the district initiated a deeper dive into the problem. It was determined an aging HVAC system would have to be addressed, including cleaning ductwork and making significant alterations to the oldest air handling units. Our HVAC unit just could not keep up with what we've had lately. This heat and the humidity together, um, the system's old and it just can't chug along like it needs to. And the school district has been able to schedule all of the makeup days in the normal school year calendar. They will include conference days later in November, Election Day and MLK Day. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, how the district plans to foot the bill for all of this remediation. We'll see you then. Reporting live in Pennsburg, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.